Hi Pisces, this is your weekly tarot readings by M for the week starting 24th of, of I think it's 24th, 24th of February 2020. I will draw three cards for you, main energy cause and effect, and then I'm gonna pull three clarifies. Okay, now. Your main energy this week is three of wands and then cause energy of three of wands is ten of cups it's completion of something some project that you really love doing is completed and the wheel of fortune hmm? how significant ten of swords Two tens, major completion, major completion, something that really gave you heartache, something really gave you a hard time. And it really made you unhappy. Many, many perhaps situation or some project or something that you have to do, you were not really happy with it. That's your influencing energy. You're not being happy with with dealing with the situation. Um, um, doing really hard work, not having many results that you expected, having unpleasant communication with people, not having understanding with people, um, things like that. So it is horizon down, horizon down, horizon, <laughs> sorry, horizon there, uh, um, uh, which tells you the small things out of this Ten of Swords. It always go, goes with you as, as something very meaningful that will grow down there. It was uh, um, into something meaningful. And the Ten of Cups is there. Two tens. Completion of some project that you kind of liked. Three of Wands paired with Magician. Lovely. And then Ten of Cups is paired with a three of pentacles and then the wheel of fortune is paired with queen of swords very nice lovely energies okay now we have seven of pentacles in here some project you already started you waiting for something to be done it seems to me with, with, with this ten of swords this project is um I think is it failing or, or something but something is failing in here with the ten of swords it wasn't that you what you expected maybe you completing this project that uh, um, it's not gonna give you much of results you understanding they it is uh, basic that you've done it is experience that you gain uh, uh, out of it it is many things that you learn in the seven of pentacles you've done a lot you know in this situation in this moment this energy says you put lots of effort in here you have some experience there and if if this project is not going the way you wanted you are happy they just have you have done something ten of swords it seems you um you understand that something with this project, with something that is old project, something that you've been doing for quite some time, you did put an effort, but you do understand that uh, perhaps it's a little, little thing that you're going to take from there further with you. That most of it is actually just for the sake of experience of knowing that what you gain there kind of my take on your influencing energies. Now, cause energy in here. Look, now, this, this is a different story. Three of Pentacles is something else. It's a movement in here. Something is changing. This is rather static one, um, stagnant. Now, it seems to me that you realize what, what was that you be, be make, making mistake mistake in here. Why didn't you grow faster? Why didn't you gain the results that you expected after this effort? It seems that that you completing, that understanding is there. That what you taking a little thing out of it, you taking further with you. That understanding, that experience that you know now, and you taking it further here, 
Ten of Cups, you are very happy. And this rainbow tells me whatever that you're starting, you've got on your mind. This skill now that, you, that you've that you got in here, like renewed skill from here, you just renew it. It's in a different level this time. It's completely different level this time. And it promises a bright future and abundance. That's your cause energy for this week. And now... Of course, after that kind of energy, we do have Three of Wands and we do have Magician. Three of Wands, after Three of Pentacles, your product, your project, your uh, um, enterprise, your business is already up and running. You're already there. You're already visible. You're waiting for results to show itself. You're waiting for results to come. You're waiting for your money, for your uh, um, promotion, for somebody to see you, to say, yes, this is the person that you're looking for. Something to come your way. Something is coming your way. This magician day. You feel absolutely nothing can stop you. At this point, after after this influencing energy, understanding everything, why this kind of fail or, or didn't go through, it didn't yield the results that you expected, understanding that moment, you are so optimistic this side. You, you uh, uh, renew your energy in here in a way that you know now you can prosper. Now you understand that. You made these changes, you renew this project, you're different, it's a tree, tree of pentacles. And you're moving forward, look at the magician now, look at your energy this week. You understand yourself, like you can do anything, you can do anything, that kind of mercurial energy, oh I can do anything. Waiting period with this, let me just remind you, uh, uh, Mercury retrograde. <laughs> <laughs> he's waiting, he's gonna wait. I mean, another couple of weeks. But your understanding doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's important that you understand yourself as a magician, that you see that you now have everything. You have now everything. You've got your uh, uh, drive to work. You've got your intellect and understanding. You've got your good feelings and uh, a confidence about. And you've got money. You've got everything is there for you. So you moving forward. You are here. It's really lovely combination. This enterprise. That what you're starting. Really, it's it's uh, uh, it has to go further. Now with wheel of fortune, the situation is changing. I really see the whole situation in here is now uh, uh, like a, the, the com complete cycle of your life is now changing. Like this was something, and from here something else. The complete cycle is changing because of this understanding, perhaps, or it's, or you understand because cycle is finished and <laughs> change has come. You know, is it chicken or egg? First, doesn't matter, but the complete cycle is over. A new one begins. Now, you know what they said: when wheel of fortune comes, you have to stand in the middle to see everything around you. You have to follow and control your wheel of fortune to see everybody new who's come your new that comes your way, everything new that comes your way, everything to understand, many things to know, quickly to learn, because new cycle is coming, new people, new situation, new understandings, new new uh, um, new you, new you, the magician here. Wheel of Fortune, new cycle for you. Brand new cycle. Queen of Swords, I love it here. It's pointing the right way. It is the right direction. Go for it. Just go. There where you are this week. That tells me. That what you started. That what is going well. And you're happy about. And you see you've got in your mind. It's going to be very prosperous. That's your way. Go forward, it tells you, show you with, the, with this hand. Don't delay. New cycle, beautiful new cycle. Promising bright future. With this Queen of Swords and Wheel of Fortune, it's kind of karmic moment. This karmic energy that I see in here, I really feel it. Everything points in the 
direction, this uh, for you moving forward direction. Beautiful, beautiful energies. Perhaps, as I said, maybe you just wait this Mercury retrograde to, to get over with and you are moving big time, big change. I really see this karmic change in your life. Something big is coming for you, really. I hope that you're going to enjoy your week, Pisces.